Hello, this is my research in a nutshell. In this short movie, you will learn how sunlight can be converted into electricity and how we can reduce the cost per kilowatt hour of solar energy. The current world energy consumption is around 15 billion watts. As our resources are limited, a competitive renewable energy solution has to be found soon. The uses of renewable energy is still marginal, but it grows fast. If we continue reducing the cost of renewable energy, gas and coal can soon be left in the ground. The sun is a huge source of energy. We only have to harvest the sunshine on a tiny part of the earth to generate sufficient power. But the costs have to be reduced to continue the rapid growth. How can this be done? The sun emits particles called photons. The energy of these photons can be used to free electrons in the solar cell that are bound to the nucleus. By the asymmetric design of solar cells, these free electrons tend to go to one side of the cell and thus a voltage over the cell is created. Electrons from the other side of the cell will go to the remaining hole. Some light is reflected off the cell. By making the cells thinner, the cost can drop significantly. However, the total absorption will decrease as the photons travel to less material. Enhanced absorption can be achieved by guiding the photons and trapping them inside the cell. This can be done by placing metal nanoparticles on top of the cell. One might expect that this would result in a higher reflectance. This is not the case, however. Light is scattered by the nanoparticles mainly in the plane of the solar cell. If we trap the light in this way, cells can be made thinner and will have a higher efficiency. This reduces the cost per generated kilowatt hour so that it becomes economically more beneficial. In the future, the price of fossil fuels will only rise, while renewables will become much cheaper. So it will only be a matter of time before solar power will be cheaper than non-renewable energy. I hope my research will re help to realize this point earlier in time. Thanks for watching.